Hello, good morning. This is John Robert Virginio and today I am going to present my mini research paper entitled Coronavirus Memes, Satire or Disinformation. A study of memes during a pandemic to the selected students of Bachelor of Arts in Communication, third year. So you might be wondering why I chose this topic. It's because, so let me tell you a short story. So first, I love sharing memes and I am actively sharing creating, sometimes um, leaving comments about it. And it makes me feel like I'm always on the trend. Spe specifically that um, coronavirus memes, it's just, there's a lot of, you know, uh, memes that you can see on the internet. And sometimes it is fun, sometimes it is informative, sometimes it is misleading. So it makes me feel like, yeah, I should try to study this um, aspect of coronavirus memes. And through um, this study, it will help me to give um, a more as um, perspective about this coronavirus memes. So, next. So, short problem situation. So, this study wants to understand the college students' perception of the coronavirus memes at this time of pandemic and to explain if it influences how they handle the details they see online about coronavirus memes. So, sometimes I am wondering if um, those students who are actually sharing those kind of memes are really changing their beliefs or is just for fun. You, we don't know the reason. That's why I am taking this um, study. Uh, that's why I took this study so I can have a little overview about this coronavirus memes. So this study aims to explain the students' most common reactions to COVID-19 memes. So here... Um, I uh, want to know their most common reactions, um, for example, if they're happy, sad, worried, or disappointed because there's a lot of reactions like they're angry sometimes, but commonly um, um, those reactions are sometimes, it's just reaction, like the most natural that people when, when see that um, specific post, it doesn't mean anything or something or through this study, we will be able to know if it's something, has something deeper or, or yeah, something like that. So next, another is, what if coronavirus means help them to easily understand situation or what if confuses their beliefs? So in this problem situation, I am going to know if the third year students of Bachelor of Arts in Communication um, helps um, if the coronavirus means help them to you know analyze the situation very well or it just makes them confused or it just makes them feel like yeah it's just coronavirus memes and it does not affect whatever they want to believe because you know we have our own perspective but what if this coronavirus memes helps them to understand deeper the situation that are the things that we're going to find out later. So, yeah, statement of the problem. So, number one, um, what are the understandings of the students to the coronavirus memes that they see on social media? So, just like what I said earlier, what if it's just, you know, they see it just memes, just like the other memes that just make them happy, but it does not really affect what they want to believe or how they see this kind of pandemic. Number two, what are the most common reactions of the students about the coronavirus memes? Yes, you know, it's, it's very important how they react to that specifically now that we are going vaccine, we are ge getting vaccine soon and what if, um, the, if it makes them feel like they are afraid, they are worried about it so we were going to find it out so number three how does the coronavirus memes affect the perception of the students about the pandemic so yeah um, there's a lot of um, information circulating on the internet and sometimes you will when you read those information it will make you feel like yeah that's it and you may think that what if like it will make you feel like you are left out and those information are something that you really need to know or maybe 
those are just misleading. We don't know. Um, that's why we are taking this um, kind of study about the coronavirus means it's very complicated, complex, sensitive. That's why we really need to be, uh, you know, cautious when it comes to um, reading and uh, accessing this kind of, um, you know, um, information on the internet, specifically that it is means. So next. Oh, so I come up with it is an um, interpretive, interpretive approach because um, this research is all about coronavirus memes. Memes are defined based on the reality. Memes are created through imagination, but it is also affected or depicts social reality. So interpretive because, you know, this is memes. Those are memes. Um, there's a lot of examples of memes that are created based on the reality of the people that's why many people are related into it and people um analyze it because they are relatable to it and some people just can't get the idea or the context of memes it depends on the people who who are able to interpret um coronavirus memes so next so it is under social cultural tradition so why because Coronavirus memes are created on how people understand things and through all through humorous ways it is expressed. So yes, memes coronavirus memes are created by certain individuals or group of people to share their ideas and concepts that has something to do with community, society or country. So if you're you no know, um always on the internet, specifically on Facebook, you will see a lot of memes that are created locally, uh, nationally, sometimes international pages um, created their own memes. And yeah, it become part of the um, culture, meme culture, yeah, that's what they call it, meme culture. So it become part of this, you know, um, um, new generation. Well, uh, meme exists right before, like, you know, part uh, that you can read it on my, um, uh, from my introduction where I gave some um, backgrounds about memes. So yeah, it became part of um, social cultural tradition. That's why. So next, uh, in my theor theoretical framework. So yeah, so this is um, coronavirus memes. Um, it is under the symbolic interactionism theory because um, this um, theory used to support and guide the study because, um, yes, uh, this is all about memes. And memes show symbols, messages, languages, and ideas that can be understood by individuals. So basically, memes, um, you, it's either on um, images or videos that, um, you know, people portray it to, yeah, in a humorous way, but you can, you can see the context. You can understand what is it trying to say. And through that, yeah, the symbolic interactionism theory is applicable to this study. Um, and yes, um, some coronavirus memes are defined differently. Um, depends on the person who is reading or seeing that kind of memes. So yeah, theoretical framework, symbolic interactionism theory. Next, uh, methodology. Um, so this study is a qualitative descriptive study. Um, to identify phenomenon and its features. So yeah, I am going to um, I study um, this uh, research because I want to know and I am my goal is to know, you know, to dig deeper about this coronavirus means on how it affects the people, like if they see it as satire or just disinformation. Yeah, things like that. So my Participants are my classmate, BA communication student, third year, because, you know, this pandemic, it's just hard to find your participants, and through online, it's quite challenging. So, yeah, um, when I, uh, I am more able to, you know, uh, conduct this research with my classmate, because, you know, we're just close, and it will not be hard for them to answer the um, questionnaire. Yeah, I use the self-administered questionnaire, because... It will be easier for me to, um, yeah, to, you know, formulate my own question, to understand it. Like, I can easily, you know, track down all the information that I really need to use. 
So through narrative analysis, um, you know, uh, the information that I got, uh, I use narrative analysis. And through that, I am able to, you know, um, use the information to answer my problem situations. And yeah, it is effective. So that is my methodology. Yes, and question number one. Yes. So in question number one, of course, yes, um, here is my question. What do you think of the coronavirus memes that you see on the internet? So majority of my participants answered that those memes are humorous yet informative. Um, the further explanation is on my research paper. So question number two, what are the common reactions about the coronavirus memes that you see on online? So majority of my classmates answered happy and worried. So next, question number three, do you think coronavirus memes change your perceptions about the pandemic? So majority of my participants answered no. The further explanation can be found on my research paper. Yeah, and we are arrived to, uh, to my conclusion. So, number one, um, they consider memes as satire rather than, in, than disinformation um, because, you know, um, they actually um, understand the context about the coronavirus memes that they see they see on the internet. So number two, participants are happy, worried, and disappointed about the memes that they saw. So it is a um, mixed reactions. And if you want, um, a th the further explanation can be found on my research paper. So number three, coronavirus memes does not affect their beliefs about the pandemic. Yes, a majority of the students uh, said that it won't affect their, you know, beliefs about the pandemics because they have their own sources, they have their own beliefs, and those um, coronavirus memes are just, you know, um, some um, tools that made them um, realize in a short um, and easier way of understanding the information. So, yeah, those are my um, research paper, visual presentation. So, so some of my recommendations, um, memes can be used as information dissemination tool if the sources of the context are reliable. So in, in memes, uh, it is just not created directly, it has some background. There is this so-called context uh, where you can find the information, what is being said on the, uh, on the memes, specific memes, for example, is through images or videos. Yes, and uh, if it used in a properly mannered way, yes, coronavirus memes can be useful. So number two, coronavirus memes can be used to convey information easily, particularly to younger people. Yes, because you know, um, the new generation people like Gen Zs, millennials, they are more likely to be um, um, interested in memes, sharing memes, creating, co leaving comments, like they would easily understand what is being said on the context. So maybe we could try using coronavirus memes in information dissemination and it will be easier for them to understand it. Uh, number three, memes can be informative and humorous at the same time if it used appropriately. Yes, yes, because you know, it depends on how people will handle it how they will um, present the information through memes and we can easily um, understand it because you know it's just yeah when you see the information when you see the image the video you will create your own understanding and if you are having doubt about it you can read the context you can use some sources yes so yeah thank you so much for listening and that is my research paper entitled Coronavirus, Meme Satter or Disinformation. Thank you for listening.